Hello, I'm Marcus. Piano tuners and those who play by ear and composers have the circle of fifths or chord wheel as a foundation. This video is made to be watched while you're seated at your piano. So let's begin. If you look at your keyboard, there are 12 different notes which repeat themselves up and down the whole range. These notes relate to each other with a beautiful logic which we call the circle of fifths or chord wheel. Before sitting at the keyboard, perhaps you'd like to copy this basic diagram. First draw a circle and mark on it the 12 points of the clock face. 12 o'clock is the most distant from 6 o'clock, 3 from 9 o'clock, 1 from 7, 2 from 8, etc. Keys furthest from each other on the key wheel are called distance keys. At the top we put note C. The scale of C is all white notes. It has no sharps or flats. Now play five notes up the scale of C. C, D, E, F, G. This brings you to G, which you'll put on the right of C. The scale of G has one sharp, F sharp. From G, play up five notes again. G, A, B, C, D. We put D next, which has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. The first five notes of the scale of D are D, E, F sharp, G, A. Continue the same process, adding one sharp until you get to the first scale starting on a black note, F sharp. This can also be called G flat. We then start to take away flats, eventually getting back to C. Try playing around the clock, adding one sharp till you get to F sharp and then taking off one flat until you get back to C. One way of doing this is to start at the lowest C on the piano and work up C, D, E, F, G, G, A, B, C, D, D, E, F sharp, G, A, etc. The piano tuner has to slightly flatten every fifth as he or she goes around the circle of fifths. Otherwise, when they get back to C, it will be very sharp. Finally, let's look at this as a chord wheel. The chord or triad of C major is composed of notes 1, 3 and 5 in the scale, C, E, G. A minor, three steps below C, shares the same key signature, 
with no sharps or flats. And the chord is A, C, E. The triad of G is G, B, D, and its relative minor is E minor, E, G, B. If we go anti-clockwise from C, the relative minor of F is D minor, D, F, A. Try working out all the other relative minors. You could also try playing the major and minor chords up the piano, starting with the lowest C chord, though it will sound rather muddy, and when you get to the top, almost inaudible. I hope this simple introduction to the cycle of fifths and the chord wheel has helped you to build a foundation of understanding the logic of the music wheel. I'd be most grateful for any comments to help improve this teaching or to contribute to it. Thank you so much for listening.